Welcome back to the Brandt Center. This is Rika Hongo kicking things off in this second group of ladies for the short program. Two-time Four Continents bronze medalist, 21 years old from Nagoya, Japan. Opening combination, triple flip, triple toe. Excellent fight, holding that landing with that emphasis. a lot of speed into this triple lutz with the arm over the head just beautiful and the double axle right on the crescendo Absolutely stunning start for Rika Hongo, making her case. She had two solid seasons of competition before her results really dipped last year. She was in the top 10 at Worlds two years in a row and then dropped to 16th last spring. But boy, with Marin Honda out there earlier really struggling, that teenager struggling, she came out and did what she had to do. And a lot of people were looking at this head-to-head -head matchup as a statement for Marin. And Rika is the one that comes out. She delivers under pressure. We've seen her put together these great programs over the past few seasons. Obviously, last year was a bit of a lull, but so easy to get lost in the depth of these Japanese ladies but she did exactly what she needed to do. They only have two spots, so whenever you can go up against one of the favorites head-to-head -head and put a bigger number up than you, they can, that goes a long way when the judges and the officials decide to name that team for Japan. How hard it must be to not be watching what everyone else is doing and watching all of the coverage and all of the media that these youngsters are getting. I mean, Marin is 16 years old. Rika's been out there for a while, 21. You're absolutely right. In this day and age, you can't really keep your head down and hide with social media. The results and the hype are just constantly out there. Now let's take a look at this opening triple flip. So much power. You see her reach back, load in for a very nice, 
triple toe. And then late in the program, you could see a little bit of rest. Oh, if they take a look at that instant replay on the toe, we could see that technical score start to come down. But in the second half, she picked up so much momentum for a huge triple Lutz in the second half of this program. But if that triple toe comes out to be an under, that will certainly hurt a lot in that technical score. Enrica is a technical skater. She's not going to win events based on the components, so she needs those full rotations. The short program score, 61.6. 61.60, not quite enough to catch Courtney Hicks, who remains the leader for now, but uh, a decent score for Rika Hongo. You can see the disappointment. She knows she skated clean. She expected a bigger number than this. And when you're in the second warm up, you expect to go into the lead as soon as that first skater skates.